So I think almost that's the new radio airplay. If you can partner up or team up with a product or a company, uh, we're seeing that that's the most you know lucrative and beneficial way to get your music out there now, much more so than radio or playing shows even. Perception is all oh, we got. We got BlackBerry to sponsor our tour. That's a that's awesome. It's all it's a cool thing, almost to get. You know, it, depending on the brand. I mean, you're, if you have a diaper company <laughs> sponsoring you when you're touring, you don't want that. But but these days, it's it's like wow. Okay, this band is legit. They got X. You know, big corporation, big product behind their band, and they're sponsoring the tour. Stuck in boxes, don't know how to get out. We listen to this music, so we hang out with this crowd, and etc. So that that's kind of stayed. And I think when we see the kids, the all ages crowds, they're a little uh, less entrenched in that. You know, they're still finding which group they want to hang out with. So. I think there's a lot less judgment from that kind of crowd, which we feel, you know, uh, when we're playing to, you know, a room full of snobby record critics who are 25 years old, and it's it's a little more difficult to kind of kind of get to them in that way. It's nice to, to live and breathe what you're speaking about. I've worked with a few different clients where, where music is a key part of what they do. And I think it's important and it establishes certain credibility with, with clients when they know that you're out there living it, breathing it, doing it. Time is running away from me, but I'm not dead yet. Stuck in a box, I don't Music isn't isn't what it used to be. It's it's almost the start of the conversation rather than the end. And Spotify, music is almost worthless, you know, it, it, as far as is making money on it. Now it's it's something that gets people in the door versus something that okay, this is where, how we're going to make all our money.